people were going to like us. We didn't think, I mean, I certainly didn't think I'd be sitting here in 30 years time talking to <laughs> interviewers about my career. After living in the same mansion for about 40 years, Boy George has decided to move on from the place, listing it for sale at about $19.5 million. Located in the Hampstead neighborhood of London, England, the singer's historic estate has been completely revamped and expanded during his many years living here, now featuring about 5,500 square feet of space and six bedrooms. While we can assume that George will be looking for a new living situation in the UK, where he hails from, we also know that when he's across the pond in Los Angeles, he usually shacks up at the home of his manager PK Kemsley and his wife Dorit Kemsley, who stars on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And for those fans of the reality series, you may have already known that. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year. So go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you wanna see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Just this past September in 2022, Boy George listed his longtime residence in the UK up on the market for about $19.5 million. The pop star icon, who's now in his 60s, has lived here for about 40 years and saw the gothic mansion through a recently completed three-year restoration, expansion, and decoration makeover. Built in 1848, his historic estate is known as the Logs and is situated on a quarter acre of walled and gated grounds in London's posh neighborhood of Hampstead. The grade two listed home is playfully outlandish to say the least and suits owner boy George's tastes just Fine, made of beige brick and red Mansfield stone back in the late 1800s. It formerly served as the private residence of engineer Edward Gatto. The home overlooks Hampstead Heath, and in the 1950s, the property had been expanded, turning into smaller maisonettes. George then purchased this unique residence when he was in his 20s, around the height of his 80s fame with Culture Club, but it's not known if the logs had been turned back into one large home when the singer bought it or whether he did that later on. These days, however, we can see that the main home has been thoroughly expanded and overhauled with a complete makeover in recent years. Now, Boy George's home spans just about 5,500 square feet with six bedrooms and 5.5 baths. While the home is mainly two floors, there's a multi-level tower area with a top floor meditation lounge and underneath an office, bedroom, and rooftop terrace. Walking up to the home, we can see the gothic architecture right away with towering pillars framing the front entrance. The layout inside is interesting to say the least, but there's a well-sized front foyer with an arched ceiling that leads into an epic triple level room, which serves as a stair gallery, reception hall, and a dining room. This space looks like a cathedral with its Corinthian marble pillars and colorful stained glass windows, also offering a handful of balconies with black iron railings. George further decorated the eye-catching space with a bunch of art, some which he created himself and you can find more of his pieces scattered throughout the home. These include a pink and orange painting of performer Lee Bowery and a photographed portrait of the late April Ashley. I absolutely love this reception hall and the grand staircase and I think it's been modernized while still keeping that classic architecture. Over in the living room, there's a handful of neutral colored furnishings and a DJ table to one side, as well as soaring ceilings and French doors to the grounds. From here, a glass hallway leads to the modern farmhouse kitchen where George could have cooked up some impressive dinners. While the kitchen itself is slightly minimalistic, it still offers top grade appliances as well as a breakfast nook. And for larger meals and entertaining, the coolest part has got to be the walls of floor to ceiling glass that open out to a long alfresco dining table and terrace surrounded by gardens. Additional rooms in the home include a study or den with double height brick fireplace on one wall, a hidden level with tea TV set into the raised fireplace, a space which looks as if it could serve as a mini home theater, and a bright yellow laundry room. In terms of George's master suite, not only are there double height ceilings and a cozy yet glam setup, but the attached bath boasts a glass ceiling over top the entire room. This spacious subway tile bathroom is flooded with light, offering some exposed brick as well, standalone tub, and more. While nearby, there's a sprawling
own dressing room or walk-in closet with walls to hide one's wardrobe. Outside, you'll find a secluded front garden, private back lawn, and off-street parking for several cars. While George's home was already a striking Italian-style villa, it didn't always look as chic as it does in its current iteration. Now, it boasts expensive artwork, religious artifacts, and unique memorabilia that George adores. Just this past year, the star revealed the changes that were made while recently redesigning the home. For the overhaul, George invited designer Kelly Hoppin in to help him refresh the spaces, and she recalls her first impression of the home as, quote unquote, very dark. As one can notice, the rooms were oddly shaped in a strange floor plan and some even felt like mausoleums. The gorgeous stained glass windows formerly didn't let enough light into the residence and the whole place needed to be brightened up. George met Hoppin through a friend and she set out to get to know her client as well as his house and the items from his four decades long career that were very important to him. For example, Kelly found that the singer needed as much room for his paintings, often cartoon-like and neon-hued. Over in George's kitchen, Giles Mulder, a partner in London-based F3 Architects, was responsible for the modern addition with the glass wall that now brings in more light than the rest of the home's windows put together. The museum-looking foyer we saw in his home is where George reportedly spent a ton of time reading and writing, where the dining area is. Now, the furnishings are an east meets west mix, like high back chairs, slip covered in beige, natural, basket weave linen. Considering the staircase is a key highlight of George's home, Hoppin decided that every piece of furniture in the triple level space had to quote unquote hold its own. Some of these pieces include a slab of Carrera marble for a console, photos by George on the walls, as well as a dresser by Jimmy Martin who paints graffiti onto furniture. Over on the other side of the staircase is the main living room with an intricately coffered ceiling that Hoppin painted her signature color taupe. At one end of the space, she left old brick exposed as a backdrop to George's DJ table. At the other is a large convex mirror that brings a funhouse aspect to what is already a kind of a fun house, and there's also a bench situated under the window. But the windowless TV room might be the coziest spot in George's home, which was a former storage room. Poppin said, we made it snug. She used a lot of Belgian linen under the original coffered ceiling and used the fireplace around as a kind of nook for the TV. There are are also pebble style coffee tables here, which are a fave of Hoppin's too. As we can see, George had spent a ton of time making sure his home was nearly perfect, so it's a little surprising he hoisted it on the market so soon after. However, he might be downsizing and is likely looking for another home in London or the UK. As for where the pop icon is across the pond in Los Angeles, we also know that he often shacks up at the home of his manager PK Kemsley and his wife Dorit Kemsley, who stars in The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. If you're wondering how George ended up becoming the long-term house guest of PK and Dorit, the real housewife herself revealed in an interview a few years back, there was like an instant love between George, PK, and I. We met George a few years back when he had approached PK about managing him. And when he came to LA, PK had suggested, because we had the room, he said, you're welcome to come to the house. Their current stunning home is located in Encino, California, and with its impressive size, it seems there's more than enough room for George to stay over. In fact, the $6.5 million pad boasts six bedrooms, 10 baths, and 8,901 square feet. And it was purchased by the couple in 2019. According to Dory, George is an honorary member of the Kemsley clan. She added, I think when you stay in someone's house and you live in their lives and you're playing with their kids and you see them as a couple, it's different. I mean, he sees us before bed, he sees us first thing in the morning, and it's not like this lunch date per se. She said, you kind of get more intimately connected, and that's definitely what happened. Well, it sounds to me like wherever boy George rests his head, it's in style. We can only wait and see what new real estate acquisitions he makes in the UK after moving on from his longtime estate. That brings this house tour to a close, but before we wrap up, ask yourselves this. Would you totally revamp and modernize your longtime home just to move on from it? Or would you rather stay put? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as well as what you liked or didn't like about George's stunning UK home. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat further, and I'll catch you all in another house tour. Bye!